Currently missing one of my favorite hip hop duos right now. Like, I'm all for the new paths they've been paving for themselves, but man, do I miss this era. <laughs> like, 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 was it their last officially released collab four years ago? That's ridiculous. And you know, recently Uzi performed an unreleased song at the Rap Festival Rolling Loud with the line you heard at the beginning of the video. And it got me reminiscing about times when we actually thought they were gonna drop their collab tape. So I'm gonna talk about it. If you end up enjoying this style of video, consider subscribing. Also, follow my Instagram. <laughs> Lil Uzi Vert is a rapper that started making a buzz for themselves in 2015 with their Love is Rage album, which I personally think is their worst album. <laughs> uh, then like. released the Uzi Vert vs. The World in 2016, and that album has hits like Money Longer, Money Got Longer, Speaker Got Louder, Car Got Faster, P's and Q's, She Had a Nigga That Was On A Music Scene, and Canadian Goose. I need Canadian Goose, yeah, I need to get on my clear, yeah. I just know that Love is Rage 2 turned him into a household name thanks to EXO Tour Life, All My Friends Are Dead, and Eternal Take was one of the most anticipated albums of the 2010, right next to Astro World in Whole Lot of Red. And now we know him as the just wanna rock guy. <laughs> His own kid's choice, so okay. And his best friend, Playboy Cardi. Playboy Cardi is a rapper that started making a buzz for himself on SoundCloud in 2015 with his single, Broke Boy. Three grand, book black, high spot. He then took two years to drop his self titled album, Playboy Cardi, with his breakout single being Magnolia. In New York, I'm in the wrong, I did in my side. He would then drop an album the year after called Die Lit, with some of my personal favorites being Middle of the Summer, I'm in the hood when don't bother me, RIP, go fuck that bitch. And oh, why don't you look at this? Shoot up! The last Playboy Cardi and Uzi collab we've ever even gotten officially released. Then he took like three years to drop Whole Lot of Red, but it's a modern classic, which I have a whole other video talking about. Check out that video. <laughs> Okay, so I don't actually know how Cardi and Uzi met. I ain't got no best friend. All the motherfuckers did. <laughs> According to the YouTuber Underground Season, they most likely met through ASAP Rocky, so we're just gonna roll with that. They eventually would hop on the song Left Right. Guess what I put on the beach? Yeah, diamonds, that's all on my teeth. They have a music video, but it's not on fucking Spotify. They would then go on a tour under the same name and feature on each other's album. Woke up like this on Cardi's. Woke up to niggas sounding like me. And of course, we get our flowers on Uzi. Yeah, never throw. This entire era spawned more sightings of the duo with iconic photos such as these. They were all almost always seen together out in public and even at one point had a hundred unreleased songs. This would eventually lead to the eventual announcement of their collab album, 1629. What does 1629 mean? Well, during the SoundCloud era, a lot of rappers just had numbers to represent them for like all different types of reasons. And in their case, it came from the streets that they were raised up on. Uzi being from the 1600 block from Philly and Cardi being from the 2900 in Atlanta. They announced a tour coinciding with the album that eventually got canceled like a week after it was announced and 1629 never so now you're probably wondering why this era was even iconic in the first place if Bruh. nothing came from it. Well, Uzi and Cardi being the serial liars they are, people from their community started leaking hundreds of their music, which included songs that were speculated to be on 1629. Some of my personal favorite leaks from the 1629 era, Firearm, Playboy Cardi, only be long thug that I know, Throw It Up, and Bankroll. Fuck, break the bank. I'm a break the bank. With the infectious melodies of both of these artists combined, this entire era was gearing up to be one of the most iconic until it just all fell flat. Because of course it did. A fan asked Uzi sometime in like 2019, I think, if him and Cardi were still on good terms. And Uzi just straight up said no. As Uzi was gearing up for the release of Eternal to Take in March of 2020, bro just seemed like he was just grieving on the timeline. And even dropping a reference on the first track of Eternal to Take. He was like, whole lot of, whole lot of red rubies on my neck. In April, Cardi drops a single at May, which in my personal opinion, this gets way too much hate. All right, check and every time I listen to it, I think back to the beginning of quarantine. Like, how the fuck did I become nostalgic for quarantine? Anyways, Uzi responded to this drop with this tweet being as cryptid as ever. And then they both tweeted, Monday. Nothing happened on Monday. In late August, a new Cardi and Uzi song had leaked called SRT. Pull up skirt, bring me SRT. It's been like, what, two years since we heard shit from them at this point? Then it was revealed Cardi ditched his then baby mama, Iggy Azalea, and the birth of his son, Onyx, to play the PlayStation with little Uzi. I'm not still with him, in case you're wondering. And then my favorite couple was back together. And then in October of 2021, after not being seen in public at all for damn near a year, they reunited at Rolling Loud in probably one of the most wholesome clips on this goddamn internet. No, I had to let her go, yeah! but she can't arrest me. We're now in 2023. 1629 has no signs of ever releasing. Cardi is in full vampire sex clown mode. Uzi is on the Kids' Choice Awards at day and, and worshiping the devil at night, so who knows what's next for this duo? You can not come, but she mine. I got a little crush on her back, she fine. She curved like an eight, but I got a new nine. She looks like a ten. I think shot up. Met a nigga named Joe, last name Byron. I shoot at that nigga, and nobody was trying.